our downstream O2 sensor, the wire comes underneath this heat shield right here, and there's a little retainer. So we're gonna use our pry tool and try and work that, that retainer off. Once we have that little button free, we're gonna go ahead and try and pull this harness back. Thank you. Be able to pull it forward here. Our sensor has a little lock tab right here. We're just gonna use a pair of pliers and just gonna pinch in this little tab. And then pull out that little lock tab. Now I'm gonna use a small pick. I wanna get right underneath the front section here. Lift up. Disconnect our O2 sensor. I'm gonna apply a little bit of rust penetrant around the edge of our oxygen sensor here and let that seep in for a little bit. Using a 7 8 wrench or a 22 millimeter wrench, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen our oxygen sensor here. Now as I'm loosening this here, I like to work the threads a little bit. That sometimes helps the threads from stripping off of the oxygen sensor. sensor and thread that in. When doing so you want to go ahead and spin the wires. You don't want these to bind up and break internally. I'm going to go ahead and snug this in. Now there is a crush washer here. You want to make sure that that is crushed and sealed. Once that bottoms out, give it that extra quarter turn. Feed your wire up and through. Line up the harness. Lock it into place. And we can feed this back through so we have our little locking tab. And press that in. Once that's locked in, you can go ahead and wrap up your wire here. We're going to use our heat shield tab to just hold that wire in place. 